Leafs fans are pissed after this. The Maple Leafs have now officially hired Brad Trey Living as the new general manager, replacing Kyle Dubas, and I couldn't be more confused. If you're unfamiliar with who Trey Living is, he was the former general manager of the Calgary Flames and is the son of Jim Trey Living, who owns Boston Pizza. And I've got to say, this hiring makes absolutely no sense. I'm going to look at a few things here, then give you my overall thoughts on the deal at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that and subscribe for more. Firstly, I wanted to get this off my chest that Kyle Dubas was not the problem or the reason for the Leafs' failure to make a deep playoff run. Look at the team he built. He gave the Leafs every tool they needed to have success in the playoffs. In past playoff exits, the narrative was that defense was the issue. Dubas adds Muzzin, McCabe, Shen, Brody, Giordano, who've all been great for Toronto, and drafts the likes of Sandine and Lilligren. And as a result, well, they've been one of the better defensive teams in the league for the past three years. Then the issue was the lack of consistency in the playoffs. A missing piece. A killer instinct, if you will. With failure to address this in the past with Felino and veteran players, he brings in O'Reilly, who wins the Conn Smythe for St. Louis in the 2019 Cup run. Dubas added depth with Achari and Nyes in the bottom six, all while keeping the best four players on the team together. The Leafs lose arguably their best goaltender in Freddie Anderson for nothing, and he gives us Ilya Samsonov, who is nothing short of competitive for this club. Now, you could argue that Dubas made a mistake in some trades during the deadline by giving up a lot of first-round picks, and of course, the infamous Kadri trade. But all in all, the Leafs look better than they ever have in the last 20 years this season. It's not a lack of talent that's the problem, it's a culture issue. There is a culture around this hockey club that is way too comfortable. And on top of that, the core four players all have similar play style. There is literally never any consequence for these guys when they don't show up. And when the Leafs were losing at the beginning of the season, everyone wanted Keith gone. The city was up in arms, but what did they do? They ride out the storm and make no changes, and as soon as they start winning again, it's like everyone forgets that they were losing, and the issue never gets solved. That's the culture. No urgency, no accountability, just play until the problem goes away and forget it ever happened. So what's the real problem here? Or better question, who is the real problem here? Well, a lot of people looked at Kyle Dubas as the one who should be responsible for not tearing the core four apart, but the reality is that it has nothing to do with Dubas and everything to do with Shanahan. The only reason Shanahan has a job is because he wants to keep the core four together and big companies like Bell & Rogers think they sell better with these products on the ice. And if he's not wanting the four apart as president, then it's Shanahan who needs to be the GM of this club. But now it's Brad Trey living. So what exactly has he done for the Flames? Well, most people are quick to point out his to Chuck trade, which was paid off in spades for the Panthers and still has yet to pay off for the Flames. And while that trade is far from a good look, you also have to look at the circumstances he was in. Tuchuk said he wanted out, Brad knew he had to make a trade, and considering he got a 115 point player, a legit number 2 defenseman, and a first round pick plus a prospect, there wasn't a deal in the league that he could have gotten that would be more lucrative. Now, we don't know the extent of the Huberto successes or failures just yet in Calgary, but it would seem like he lost the trade as of today. But what about him bringing in Hannafin and Lindholm for basically nothing in Carolina? Or how about drafting the likes of Coronado and Pelletier who are going to be cornerstones in Calgary? These are the talking points a lot of people seem to miss and should also be considered now that he's the GM of the Maple Leafs. But you say, Cappy, what are your thoughts on it? I think the Leafs change of GM isn't necessarily necessarily an upgrade or a downgrade. It seems to me that the problem lies more in the DNA of the club more than anything. The core four, if you will. They've tried everything else from new coaching to shifting the defense and goaltending. When will they acknowledge that these four guys are just too similar? If you look at the Panthers, they recognize that Barkov and Huberto were the same player, and by throwing it to Chuck, they become more dangerous and versatile as a club. There needs to be accountability, and that starts with letting the top guys know that there are consequences to not getting the job done, and no one is off the trade list. This is a hockey club, and they should only have one goal in mind. But nothing can change if Shanahan continues to put his stamp on everything. Now, the last thing I'll say is that Kyle was fired because of where he put the organization, which was in an uncomfortable spot, not so much because of his performance as GM. The guy is talented, and if he signs with Pittsburgh, they're in good hands. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. It's Cappy, and I'm out.